you know, where I think we can start to draw on this kind of like restricted, but integrated into a broader ecosystem is in this kind of therapeutic application where mental well-being and learning and pedagogy kind of all come together. So for example, you know, the things about, I'm going to fail this test. I can't study. I don't have an idea for this project. I'm not getting along with my group members and so on and so on. All of these things are not exclusively about mental well-being or student success. They're intricately intermingled, right? So here, what you have is kind of this possibility to have custom educational support that could be trained along lines of the individual student's needs, for example, about stress management, time management, um, a lot around language and cultural support. So I have a friend, I had I have breakfast with her this morning and she is autistic. So she says that one of her uh, points of friction in the workplace is that she can be very direct. <laughs> And that makes working relationships difficult for her. So she has um, an AI tool that helps parse her um, emails for cultural appropriateness and where she needs to soften it and be a little bit, you know, less direct and these kind of things. And she says that allows her to enter spaces where she would otherwise alienate herself. And similarly, we can imagine in my classes at Thomas More, I have about 80 students and they come from 55 different countries. And so there is no dominant culture in my classroom. And yet there's certainly this expectation that I teach them one particular style of copywriting or one way of doing things. And this would help them bridge the space between their own culture, which I don't have time, you know, in the space of 12 weeks to get to know everyone and the nuances of how they communicate and what is expected of them in the, in the Belgian context, for example.